the situation at refugee camps in Rwanda and Tanzania. The people here are fleeing what is termed as the worst political crisis since the 12-year civil war in the East African nation ended in 2005. At Tanzania's Lake Tanganyika Stadium, an estimated 50,000 refugees are sleeping rough, waiting to be registered and moved to the main camp in Kigoma. Conditions here at the camp are dire, with families forced to sleep on the dirt, plastic sheets and tarpaulins providing their only protection from the elements. We arrived last night and we still don't have anything to eat. It is very dirty. All you're asking is to at least be given buckets so that you can fetch some water, to have some cooking pots so that you can cook something to eat, or at the very least porridge for our children. At Kagunga town on the shores of Lake Tanganyika, more than 2,000 people arrive daily. This has caused a strain on the health and food resources there. On Monday, the United Nations Refugee Agency reported seven deaths after an outbreak of cholera was confirmed by Tanzanian authorities. About 700 others have been diagnosed with malaria. We are working with our partners, WFP and, and the local government here and partners here to try and make sure they get the food, the health care, the shelter that they need. Right now the main challenge is to make sure they get from the border point where the challenge of the conditions there such that it's a remote area, it's difficult to set up adequate facilities there, it's difficult even for people to be accommodated there, like staffing to support them. So we're sending some uh, food supplies to them there, the best we can, but the priority is to get them out of there and get them to Nyarugusu camp where we can be able to provide them food, shelter, water, safe, uh, safe water to drink and sanitation facilities. Over in Rwanda, the situation is the same only a bit worse. Some families here have not gotten a food ration for close to three weeks. I arrived here last month on the 28th and got my food ration, but since then I have struggled to get my share as only those with big families are getting their share. Some of us with small families must fend for ourselves. With the current president being in power, we can't go back home because his party's militia is terrorizing and killing those who are opposed to him. We were very happy when we heard about the coup attempt, but later learned it failed, which killed our morale. We do not want this president. If he's not in power, then we can go back home. Statistics from the United Nations Refugee Agency show that more than 110,000 refugees have fled to Rwanda, the DRC, and Tanzania so far. Leslie Murungu, CCTV.